guys, good new week. I trust that you are having a good day. This is one of my favorite clips I'd like to share with you because it has some deep info you may want to hear. Timing. Well, that's what I ask for in each moment. Don't you agree? Well, please listen to it and see if, it, if this resonates within you. Using earphones and headphones will enhance your pleasure. Have a great day. Enjoy and chill. As a mother, I felt negligent doing exactly that. And you have taught me that, and I've learned it more and more as I continue to follow your work. Because it feels negligent not to do what others tell you that you should be doing relative to your children. You should right. be guarding them and warning them and punishing them right. and controlling them. Right. And in that process, what you're really doing is what was probably done to you. You are calling them away from their own guidance and making them dependent upon something that they can't depend on. Because the world is fickle. In other words, someone wants something from you and may teach you to behave in a way to please them and may call you selfish if you have the nerve to please yourself instead of them. That's such an interesting use of selfishness. How dare you be so selfish as to do what you want <laughs> when you live in this house and you should be doing what I want you to do. So without meaning to, most everyone is momentarily... Sometimes it lasts a lifetime, so a long time. <laughs> Momentarily called away from your own guidance, but the returning to it is, oh, it is so delicious to return to your own clarity and your own guidance and your own knowing and, and to stand in your own truth and to be true to yourself, to be true to all of whom you really are. It's such a wonderful thing. And to watch your children, you see, it's why your children are so rebellious in the beginning before you beat them down is because they're in the receiving mode and they get these impulses that sound like a really good idea to them that don't fit into your society. No, you cannot unbuckle your seatbelt and hang your body out the window of the car, <laughs> even though this is the impulse that you have. And so you have to sort of find your way in all of that. But there are ways to teach those who are close to you how to find satisfaction without putting themselves at risk. It's hard for children who have been controlled by rules to find that place of alignment because the rules still call them too. Usually you have to have lived enough life that your desire for freedom and connection to source is pulsing strong within you for you to find your true freedom. Or not had a mother that beat it out of you. Well, the nice thing about it, having been beat out of you. I don't mean literally. We know. The nice thing about having lost your connection to source right. is the deliciousness of when it returns. It's sort of like being really hungry. You really enjoy your meal more. And you all knew that. You all knew that that's part of the clarifying process. How are you going to know what you want if you don't know what you don't want? How could you even take a picture if there were not contrast? You couldn't even hear without contrast. If there were not a difference between silence and sound, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. Contrast is an important thing. You just want to learn to balance it within yourself. And in order to balance it within yourself, you've got to know some things. You've got to know that there is an inner being perspective pulsing in you that if you don't line up with, you won't feel good. And if you don't know that, then you don't know what your emotions are telling you. And if you don't know what your emotions are telling you, then you're probably following your mother till she dies or gets sick of you or your peers. In other words, you're following something that is not reliable. But once you tune in to your true guidance, and we're not trying to teach you or your children to be defiant and rebellious, that's not in alignment with who you are either. We're just wanting you to trust yourself. We're wanting you to practice connection enough that you're sure when you've got it so that you can tell what receptive mode you're in. Are you in the receptive mode of your inner being and what's in your vortex and what your source is offering? Or are you in the receptive mode of what humanity has been worried about for a long time? Because you can't have it both ways. You can't set your radio dial for 106 AM and listen to what being broadcast on 97.7 FM. In other words, your frequencies have to match up. So our desire is to acquaint you with the notion of a frequency of your source and to let you know what it feels like when you are attuned or tuned to it. 
and then encourage you to get out in the world where life comes at you and causes you to personally ask for something. And then to recognize that just because you want it doesn't mean you're a match to it. Every subject is really two subjects, wanted and absence of it. And a lot of people who want more money or who want a relationship or who want some change in life in some way don't even realize that they are vibrating on the opposite end of the stick, that money to them feels like not enough and like disappointment and like loss. Well, when money feels like that to you, you're not letting it in. You can't let it in. You're asking for it and resisting it and asking for it and resisting it and asking for it and resisting it. But when you start focusing on positive aspects, when you start at no thought and you allow your stuff to stay in that non-resistant vibration, the momentum of that thought must gain speed. And as it does, first it's a subtle thought and then it's something that's so big that wild horses couldn't keep you from moving in the direction of it. And you know what we're talking about. You've had those desires where everybody was telling you don't do it and there was nothing within you that was not going to do it. Because you could feel so powerfully that this was right for you. You were in the receiving mode and all of us were rooting for you. And you were feeling that for a moment instead of that. And once you start hanging out in that frequency of knowing and positive expectation, once you start being the total you, once you start allowing all of you to be having this moment, then you're having conversations with clarity and fun. Your timing is wonderful. Have you noticed how much manifestations are about timing? About timing. And timing is about being sensitive enough and tuned in enough that when you get the impulse, you act on it in the timing. Because the people that you are zigzagging with, the people with the fortune who are looking for someone to invest in are moving through life too. And you're not going to be in their vicinity all that long, maybe a second or two or three. And if you've been ready to be ready to be ready to be ready and timing presents itself, you're right there. Or not. Don't worry about it. There will always be another opportunity because your inner being knows where you are in relationship. But doesn't it make sense that the readier you are, then the more timing, what you call coincidences, we do too. They're cooperative incidences that law of attraction is organizing. Doesn't it feel good when those things happen? The other day Esther was sitting in the airport in San Diego and she was there about an hour early and she was moving around. She was really enjoying the day. It was so pretty outside, big windows in this room. And so she moved over there and watched that and then she watched that and then she watched the little dog and then she watched the little girl and she moved over there and she moved over there and she went to the bathroom and she got some water. So she'd been in about six different seats in the boarding areas as she was just sort of enjoying the momentum of her morning. And then she sat down next to someone she didn't notice it was just an empty seat, that's why she sat there, and it was close to her gate, and it was time to board, and this man was listening to something on his iPhone, or on his phone, but he didn't have earplugs, he was just holding the speaker rather close to his ear. He wasn't bothering anyone, and it was only because she was sitting next to him that she heard it at all, and she heard the word vibration, and she thought, hmm. <laughs> and then she realized he was listening to Abraham. <laughs> and so she said to him, Tapped him on the shoulder. <laughs> and he said, my daughter has been wanting me to listen to this. And I got to tell you, now I'm a believer. <laughs> and Esther said, fun, huh? Then he said, my daughter's not going to believe this. And Esther said, then we should take a picture. And then he said, I've got to call her. So he called her and got her voice recording. And then Esther said, let's call back and I'll leave the message. So now, getting ready to be 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 ready in other words these things are happening around you all the time and often you get to play them all the way out and nothing's ever really played all the way out you're just ready for this and ready for this and ready for this and how you know the receptive mode quality or characteristic of it is that both parties are exhilarated in the timing 
Esther could not have been happier for the fun of that and for the expression on his face. And she knows that he now believes in law of attraction in a way that he would not have if she had not moved around in a sort of crazy pattern. Anybody who was watching her would think, what's wrong with that woman? Can she not find a place that she wants to be? But she's just blissfully moving from place to place to place to place to place to place to place, having a good time. In other words, really, that was not that much more satisfying than any of the other places that she had been, although it had gathered some momentum. You see what we're getting at? Don't think so much about what you're on your way to. Think about where you are and the satisfaction that you're having then. And then what happens is every seat you move to becomes a little more satisfying than the one you were in last. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Enough? Oh my goodness, and then so much more. Thank you. Yes, indeed.